So you may be wondering what I am doing lying on the floor. And there is a point to this, the point being that if you are an active senior, you could very well find yourself in the same position lying on the floor due because of falling. And that's what I wanted to talk to you about today. Let me, let me get back up here. And uh, yeah, if, if you are an active senior, the probability that you're going to fall is very, very high. Too many active seniors are going down. The consequences are heartbreaking. Many pass away. Thousands of people, active seniors, are dying every year due to a fall. Most never are able to regain their prior activity level after the fall. So if you were playing golf or tennis or pickleball or walking or taking your dog out and you have a fall, you may never be able to do those activities again. And, and what's that mean in the long term? You're going to lose so much quality of life. You're going to lose so much independence. So we really have to look into this. What can we do to prevent falling? We have to really get into this. And when we think of falling and we think of prevention, I think most of us think of balance, right? It's because we're losing our balance and we're falling. So a lot of us are practicing balance types of exercises prevention wise. And I think that's great. I think that's part of it. However, and this, I really want to drive this point home. Even if you have the best balance, I mean, if you can stand on one foot and juggle four chainsaws and close your eyes, or if you can walk across the Grand Canyon on a tightrope, that's Great, that's amazing, but it's not gonna prevent a fall. And I think that's what we really have to hone, on, hone in on then, is it's not all balance. Yes, balance is important, but it's not gonna be the deciding factor because inevitably, again, even if you have that degree of balance, you are gonna lose it. Sooner or later, you are going to lose it. It's going to happen. And when that happens, you literally have the blink of an eye to correct yourself from falling. And balance is not gonna save you at that point. Once you lose your balance, it's out the window. It's not gonna prevent the fall. So what is gonna stop the fall then, right? What, what can we really work on that's gonna stop that fall? It comes down to three critical factors. Number one, we have to be able to react very, very quickly. Milliseconds, we have to be able to react once we lose our balance. Number two, we have to be able to stabilize our body once we react. Number two is stabilizing the body. Number three is self-correcting or righting ourselves, getting our body back into a position of space where we're no longer in a position to fall. So those three factors are what are gonna really prevent the fall. Let me show you something here. All I'm asking is if you can practice this maybe five minutes, three times a week, five minutes, three times a week, and this can make, this can literally be life-saving. I'm gonna say it that way, because this is what's going to prevent a fall. This will stop you from falling. Five minutes, three times a week, you just need a little open space, no equipment. And again, this can make all the difference in your world. I call this the ground up approach. Let me give you a little example here. So again, as I stated earlier, we wanna practice these three critical steps, reacting very quickly, stabilizing our body, and then correcting, righting ourselves. So for example, say you're walking around the neighborhood and the sidewalk is a little bit elevated. Maybe there's a tree root growing underneath it and the sidewalk's lifting. There's a little lip there. You're talking to your friend or your neighbor. You're not paying attention. And there it is. We trip over that lip. So what's going to happen next is we have to, that first step, we have to be able to react very quickly, very quickly, milliseconds. And to be able to do this, we have to be able to engage fast twitch type two motor fibers. That's what's gonna allow us to get that foot out. Those muscle fibers make all the difference in the world for that first reaction. So we trip, type two response, we get a foot out, we're still going down now. Now number two, we have to be able to stabilize our body and that's gonna be reliant on eccentric strengthening. 
Eccentric strengthening is when our muscles lengthen, but they're producing force. So the muscles in my leg are lengthening, but they're able to produce force and control my body so I don't go down. So again, I trip, reaction step, I'm going down, eccentric strength, I can stabilize my body. And then number three, we want to be able to right ourselves, self-correct. And in order to do that, this is another fast twitch muscle response. We need to be able to get back up into a position where we can control our body in space. This is how I want you to practice. Again, the ground up approach. So we're fa I'm facing forward. I want you to take that quick reaction step. Slowly lower yourself to the ground. Number two, I want you to come all the way down very slowly. Get right on your tummy. And now number three, we want to be able to get up very quickly, as fast as you can, back up into a nice stable position. So again, reaction step, type two muscle fiber response. Get the foot out. Eccentric, number two, we want to stabilize our body. Slowly lower yourself to the ground. Get on your tummy. Number three, we want to be able to self-correct another fast twitch muscle fiber response up as quickly as you can. That's the ground up approach. You can do it forwards. I'd like you to practice to each side also. So to my left, to your right, reaction step, stabilize eccentrically, lower down to the floor on the side of your body. Number three, fast twitch response. Get up as quickly as you can to the other side. Reaction step, stabilize, eccentric control, Get to your side, fast twitch response, back up as quickly as you can, forward each side, backwards. Reaction step, eccentric, stabilize your body, slowly lower to the floor, get right onto your back, fast twitch response, up as quickly as you can. That's it, that is it. That is the ground up approach. Again, it's so perfectly, isolates those three vital steps that we all need, we all need to rely on to prevent a fall from happening. Please, again, all I'm asking is five minutes, three times a week, practice forward, each side, backwards, maybe do two to three reps of each of those. That's going to make all the difference in your world. Again, if you're an active senior, as I stated in the opening, you are at a very high probability of falling. Balance is helpful, but it's not going to prevent you from going down. Inevitably, you're going to lose your balance. We all do. And then we're going to rely on those three steps I just demonstrated. The ground up approach will prevent you from falling. Please take this to heart. Pass it on to your friends, family members. Again, this can be life-saving. Thank you so much for watching, and I will be talking to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.